Hello again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 video tip. If you've not watched the previous video in this series, please do. We began looking at how to do maneuver searches in Chess Base 11, and we looked at the very basics in the last video. I touched on one of the aspects, one of the toggles in that dialogue, and I want to talk a little more about it, elaborate just a little bit more in this video. So let's go back, look very quickly at how to set up a maneuver search in Chess Base 11. First of all, you'll right click on the database that you wish to search. Now, I've chosen a smaller database of games from the 1800s. The reason being, I've only got 10 minutes to do a video. I'd like to do multiple searches in the time that we have together. So I've picked a smaller database rather than my large master database. Right click, go to search, click the maneuver tab. As we saw last week, this allows you to write a little sentence that instructs the software as to what you want to look for. What do you want to find? So you click, as we did last time around, white, pull down a list of pieces, bishop, goes from f1 to the c4 square. And you'll remember in the last video we were looking for this maneuver, the bishop going from f1 to c4, just in the opening of the game. We had put in moves 2 through move 8 in these two boxes next to moves. That's actually a very important toggle in this dialog. It's often overlooked by some users who do use this particular search criteria this type of search, maneuver searches. They overlook the move thing sometimes though and they wind up with a bunch of junk that they don't want. For example, if I wanted just all the games in which a bishop moved from uh, move, or I'm sorry, from f1 to c4, at any point in the game I would have left this pretty much at you know moves 5 to 40 which is the default. And I would have got a whole ton of games and some of them might not have been relevant to what I was looking for. I just wanted them in the opening last time around. So I changed this from move 2 to move 8 obviously start with move 2 because the bishop can't come out until 1e4 uh, is played. It kind of has to clear a clear path for it. And then at any time after move 8, eh, you're kind of starting to kind of lap a little bit into the early middle game there. So I wanted very early bishop moves. However, you can also do middle game to end game searches the exact same move, bishop on f1 to c4, but at a different phase of the game. That's what I wanted to talk about. Let's go down here. We'll go from move 20 to move 35. We're talking middle game to end game here, pretty much. Late middle game or middle of the middle game to end game. I mean, it's the, the boundaries are very hazy, as you well know. But we'll use that as our criteria. Same maneuver. Bishop on f1 goes to c4, but this time it's going to do it sometime in the middle game till sometime probably in the early end game. Now, why is this significant? Because there's no way a bishop is going to sit on f1 the whole way through up through move 20, except in very rare circumstances. What this will usually turn up, what most of these games will be, will be games in which the bishop has moved out, come back to f1 for some particular reason, and then moved out to c4 again. That's the difference. This is where a bishop has already moved around a couple times, come home to f1, and then later goes back out to c4. So we type all this in. We leave this criteria exactly the same. Our little sentence up here at the top is still white bishop on f1 and c4, but this time it'll be between moves 20 and 35. We click OK, and after a few moments, we get some games. In fact, it's done. 40 games have been found. Look down here in the left-hand corner. Done. Search. 40 games found. If we click on a game, we see there is a bishop on c4. If we use either the cursor keys on the keyboard or the VCR buttons, we can go back a move and find that, in fact, the bishop was on f1 and went to c4. This will be the case in every game that we look at. Of course, this happens at the end of the game. Remember what you said if you ever do a search and uh, you click on a game and it takes you to the beginning of the game, it means that what you're looking for happens right at the very end. In fact, if you click on the last move, the bishop is on c4. Retract the move, goes to f1. Click on a bunch of different games. There's the bishop again on c4. Retract the move, it started on f1. And then we come down here, and we see the bishop here. Retract the move, and it's taken another bishop on c4. That's interesting, because in some of these games that we've looked at previously, um, 
there wasn't a piece on c4. Like in this one, the bishop went from f1 to c4 and didn't capture anything. However, here, there was a capture. That's going to be the topic of our next video, by the way, to show you how to look for captures. But what I wanted to stress here was the idea that you can change the phase of the game in which your search that your search covers by changing the span of moves. If you do, as I said, move 2, move 8, you're going to get nothing but these bishop maneuvers in the opening. If you do 20 to 35, as we just did, you only get 40 games, but they're all games in which middle game to end game this bishop move occurred. And just for fun, we may turn up nothing, but we'll go moves 40 to 80, and we'll see if we have any bishop maneuvers like this in, say, a late end game. It may turn up nothing. I haven't done this one yet, but we'll look. Actually, we get a few games. We actually get 15 games, and if we click, here we have at move 41, a bishop takes on c4. Come here. It happens at move 52, another bishop capture on c4, taking a queen. Come here. This is a... Uh, Let's scroll up a little bit here and find out where this occurred. Move 46, the bishop moves to c4. So here we have endgame maneuvers where a bishop on f1 goes to c4. Not a particular startling maneuver, I'm just using it as an example. But just be aware, whenever you do a search, a maneuver search, the span of moves right here in these two boxes is very important. because You can determine the portion of the game in which this maneuver occurs by changing the values in these boxes. We'll show you how to look for captures next time around in our next video on Chessbase 11. Till then, for USCF Sales, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.